Yeah, I'd like to give you an update on the search and selection uh, process that we've uh, undertaken to find a new head coach for the Ospreys. Um, it's been very robust and systematic. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in the position. And really, we've looked at a three-stage process. We didn't want to feel uh, rushed about this. We want to be considered and diligent about the way we went about our business. And uh, we wanted to take our time and be considered, really, in terms of this appointment. It's obviously a very important appointment, a very exciting appointment, and we wanted to get, get things uh, in the way that we wanted them to, to be over a period of time. Uh, as I said, it uh, involved three stages, really. Stage one was January, just reaching out to our network, um, talking to people about uh, coaches and who's been impressive in coaching uh, over an extended period. We spoke to agents, we spoke to recruiters, uh, we spoke to people globally, uh, reaching out to all our network really uh, to start to put uh, a picture together of the sort of uh, people that could be available, the sort of head coaches who would be a great fit for our organization. And um, we moved then to uh, February, uh, to stage two. And stage two really uh, was, we invited a, a short list of coaches to present uh, to a panel uh, that included myself and senior Ospreys officials and uh, Welsh Rugby Union uh, official as well. So we, we want to thank the Welsh Rugby Union for their input into this search and selection process as well. And, you know, we asked our shortlisted coaches to present to us uh, on their rugby philosophy, uh, tell us about their influences, their learnings along their rugby journey, and give us an insight into how they would develop high performance teams, high performance culture, um, how they would drive their rugby programme, an insight into their vision and values. And, you know, making sure that technically we got an insight into the work they would do on the grass as well. Um, how they would go about their business in attack and defence, in the breakdown, scrums, lineouts, all the usual nets and bolts that are really, really important that underpin, of course, the coaching process. So, lots of questions, lots of depth to uh, the presentations. We were absolutely, totally impressed with the quality of the coaches that uh, made the shortlist and then presented to us, uh, it was, uh, it really was outstanding and uh, we reflected on those, collected our information from that and uh, we then moved to stage three and stage three really was um, a very important stage for, for coaches that might not be in our system currently, that might not be part of our uh, organisation at this time, uh, so we wanted a little bit more information on those guys so we asked them to make similar presentations to some senior players and those players uh, obviously uh, were keen to, to get involved in the process as well. We wanted total buy-in uh, in terms of uh, knowing uh, the quality of the coaches and uh, getting some feedback off senior players but also for us to observe uh, the dynamic of those meetings as well because ultimately uh, we want a head coach who's a really good communicator and who energizes a group and uh, getting the feedback from uh, the players, some of the senior players was was excellent and, and they were, like us, uh, very encouraged by the high quality and uh, expertise of the, of the coaches that uh, were able to go to stage three in that process. So, you know, that was a, a fantastic uh, insight into the dynamic and to the way that relationships could unfold in the in the future, because ultimately we're looking for a head coach uh, that is a very good communicator, that is an energizer, that's open-minded, uh, that's uh, innovative, but technically very good as well. Uh, that's got uh, a lot of experience, can be that knows what it's like to win, uh, to lose, uh, to provide solutions uh, to a team, and to grow uh, players as well individually. So. You know, making sure that if things are not uh, going as well as we want, they can uh, provide solutions and fix those things over a, over a period of time. But also, um, uh, they're able to develop young players and give a skills program that uh, helps them to grow. Because we want our players going on to represent Wales and the Lions, ideally. So, you know, having that uh, ability to structure that type of program is really important to us. And I have to tell you, the quality of the coaches who have been interviewed and come through those stages uh, have been outstanding. And I'm sure uh, we, we're pretty close now to making uh, a, a key decision. 
and uh, I want to thank Golf Space Vans for their patience with this process. As I said, we didn't want to be rushed, we want to get this right.